Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting episode. Today we'll be diving deep into our programming, exploring a crucial topic in modern uh, biomedical research. And the topic is this, how to analyze gene expression differences using R. But we don't stop there, we'll focus on something incredibly specific and powerful and also useful, TP3, TP53 gene expression and how it differs between lung cancer tissue and normal lung tissue. To help me walk, uh, walk you through this, I'm thrilled to welcome our special guest, Krisha Gupta. Welcome, Krisha. Thank you so much. I'm really excited to be here. Today's topic is one that is, you know, especially needed in today's time as it lies at the exact intersection of bioinformatics and cancer biology. So in today's video, we'll break down step by step how to analyze gene expression focusing specifically on the TP53 gene, which is one of the most important tumor suppressor genes out there. Understanding gene expression differences like these can be game-changing in cancer research and potentially in developing therapies. That's great. Before we jump into the analysis, uh, analysis let's take a moment to introduce ourselves. Okay, uh, my name is Hamid Reza Abul Hassani. PhD of Computer Engineering, AIML uh, Enthusiast, and Chief Data Scientist and Founder of Databiox. I'm also a cancer survivor, so I have a lots of motiva- a huge motivation for doing, for doing research, uh, research on cancer biology and some uh, uh, amazing practical, practical things to help the human and also help ourselves. I really wish to do something great in this field and I, we are working very hard and uh, right now I'm very happy that uh, uh, during this way uh, I'm finding many new fantastic friends in this way like Krisha. Okay, and Krisha, do you want to share a bit about yourself? Absolutely. So I'm Krisha Gupta. I'm an aspiring molecular biologist and bioinformatician and I'm an intern at I interned at IASC. That's great. Thank you very much. Uh, now that you know a bit about us, let's go what we'll covering in this episode. By the end of today, or uh, better, by the end of this episode, you'll learn how to access datasets from public repositories, load and uh, pre-process gene expression data in R, run differential expression analysis, Visualize the results using plots and graphs, and finally, uh, interpret the biological significance of the results. That sounds like a lot of fun, but first, let's set the stage with a bit of background on the TP53 gene and its stolen cancer. Right, TP53, often called the guardian of the genome, plays a crucial role in maintaining a genetic stability. When, cell, when cells experience DNA damage, damage, TP53 jumps in to stop the cell cycle, repair the damage, or if necessary, trigger cell death. However, in cancer, this process is often disrupted. Mutation in TP53 or altered expression levels uh, can disable this defense mechanism, allowing cells to grow uncontrollably. Uh, a hallmark of a hallmark of cancer exactly and that's where gene expression analysis comes into play by studying how tp53 is expressed in cancerous tissues you know compared to normal tissues we can gain, gain like enormous insights into how this cancer develops and further progresses this kind of analysis not only deepens our understanding of the disease but also helps identify potential biomarkers for diagnostics and treatment targets. Okay, great. Now, before we dive into our, into the IR environment, let's take a look at some of the most reliable data sources you can use uh, for gene expression analysis. These sources are gold mines for bioinformatics research. Absolutely. So here are some great sources. So firstly, we can use the TCGA, which is the Cancer Genome Atlas, which is like a massive database offering gene expression, mutation, and clinical data for multiple cancer types, including the type of cancer we'll be studying today, lung cancer. 
Then we have G GEO, which is the gene expression omnibus, which is the one we'll be using today. Then we have the Ensemble Genome Browser, which is a comprehensive genome browser that provides gene level data and expression across various tissues. We have CBIO Portal, which is a great resource that offers interactive access to cancer genomics database data sets, including mutations and expression data. And then we have the ICGE, GC, which is the International Cancer Genome Consortium. It's like a global initiative that provides large-scale cancer genome data sets. And our last two are the HPA, which is the Human Protein Atlas. This provides both RNA and protein expression data, helping us compare expression at different molecular levels. And lastly, we have the Array Express, which is a repository for microarray and RNA sequencing data sets. Great, that's a fantastic list, Krisha. Today, however, we'll focus on a data set from GEO which means uh, or which stands for gene expression omnibus specifically gse 72094 which contains lung cancer data that we'll use today to study tb53 expression all right so let's start by preparing our our environment so we can begin the analysis first make sure you have r and r studio installed R is the programming language we'll use, while RStudio is a user-friendly environment that makes coding in R way easier. Uh, fantastic. You can download R from rproject.org and RStudio from rstudio.com. It's pretty straightforward, but we recommend the desktop version for beginners. Now let's talk about the packages you'll need. So we'll be using several R libraries today, and here's a brief list of everything you need to install before we proceed. First is the Bioc Manager, which is required for installing bioinformatics packages. Then we have Reshape2 for reshaping data. We have ggplot2 for data visu visualization. Then we have GeoQuery for accessing data sets from Geo, and Lima for differential gene expression analysis. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Now that we have everything set up, let's move on the exciting part, data acquisition. We'll be downloading the dataset GSE 72094 from GEO, which contains expression data from lung cancer patients. Once downloaded, we'll load into R for analysis. Okay. Yes. Let's break down the another steps for downloading and loading the dataset. So firstly, get the data set using the GeoQuery package, then extract the expression data and sample information, and then prepare the data for analysis by making sure it's clean and formatted correctly. Now that we have our data, let's dive into the data pre-processing before we get into differential analysis. This step is crucial for ensuring data is ready for analysis. So during data pre-processing, we'll focus on the few following tasks. That is, firstly, filtering out all the low quality data to ensure that we're working with the best possible data. Secondly, normalizing expression values to correct for any systemi systemic biases, systematic biases in the data. Thirdly, handling missing values to avoid any issues that might arise during analysis. And lastly, we can structure the data properly so we can run our analyses proper, smoothly. Mm, that's great. Once we pre-process the data, we'll move into differential gene expression analysis using the Lima package. Here's what we'll be doing. Feed a linear model to the expression data to assess how TP53 differs between lung cancer tissue and normal tissues then apply a statistical testing to determine whether the observed differences are significant. Exactly. So next up, we'll have data visualization. So after running an analysis, we can visualize the expression of the top 10 genes, including the TP53. So we can use box plots and volcano plots, among many other plots. 
So visualizing is really key to understanding the data at a glance and it really helps communicate our findings effectively. Yeah, wonderful. Always visualization is a vital part in data analysis and data science, also AI. Okay, great. After running the data analysis and visualiz uh, visualizing the results, we'll interpret the significance of our findings. Uh, that's the question is this. Is TP53 expression significantly different between cancerous and normal tissues? What does this tell us about its role in lung cancer? What do you think, Krisha? Well, that's a great question. Uh, so first we have a box plot, a gene expression box plot. So here we can see that expression levels range between 4 and 12 on the log scale for both lung cancer and normal tissues. But uh, the tumor and the normal samples, while they do have overlapping expression ranges, they do have outliers that suggest potential biomarkers. And there are subtle differences in the expression patterns that hint at underlying regulatory mechanisms in tumor tissues. Secondly, we have the volcano plot of the TP53 expression. So here the log to fold change ranges from minus 5 to 1. The statistically significant changes, that is the p-value is less than 0 0.05, they occur above 1.3 on the y-axis. And we can see here two transcripts, that is transcripts 37404 and 34113 that show the greatest significance with the balanced expression of up and down regulated genes. So I think we can conclude that lung cancer shows significant dysregulation of TB53 related transcripts. Then there are both up and down re regulated genes. So it indicates really complex regulation mechanisms. And the key outlier, the outliers that we see in both the plots, they may serve as the potential biomarkers and the high statistical reference of these certain transcript points, you know, mark or point to a possibility of alternative splicing events in the TP53 pathway. I hope that makes Okay, great. Uh, we are very happy to have this uh, study with you here. That's just a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into gene expression analysis with R. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want more tutorials like this. And don't forget to drop a comment you ha if you have any questions. I really hope that it would be useful and helpful for you. And uh, please share with us any comments or any suggestions. Okay, great. Uh, very happy to see you in this video and hope to see you in the next videos. Bye.